WJCL News, working for you. Standing room only as Beaufort Council members go head to head with the NAACP. Good evening to you. I'm Jennifer Andrews. And I'm Kevin Holmes. Here's the issue. Separate voting boundaries. It's been a hot topic in Beaufort. Low Country Bureau Chief Larry Sproul, the only reporter at tonight's meeting, and he joins us now to break things down for us. Larry? Well, Kevin and Jennifer, this topic was an emotional conversation tonight. Some people say leave the voting boundaries the same. Others say it's time for a change. I don't feel that same way with the city. And that's mainly because none of you live in my neighborhood. I don't care what your you know, color is. If you have a problem, I represent every single person in this city. Where you live, I'm so far removed that if something happens where I live, I don't think you really understand what's going on where I live. Emotions were high inside Beaufort City Hall Tuesday night as City Council and the local NAACP chapter battled discussing a controversial topic that has people talking for some time now, changing voting districts. When African Americans come with a petition of concerns that they want to address, <coughs> we have they it? still walk away with no results. That's why the local chapter of the NAACP wants to change the voting districts, as of right now, council members represent the entire city. But NAACP wants council members to represent separate districts within the city. When it comes down to the elections, no matter how hard that African American works, they're not getting elected. So what my argument was is that the city is still operating. They still vote by race line. The local chapter of the NAACP says the voting districts are necessary to provide proper representation for the African-American community. But local city leaders say this issue is not just about black or white. There's a process for changing. It would be a change in government. And council agreed to have a special election if NAACP can get at least 15% of voters on a petition. That election will allow voters to decide on if they want to change the voting districts. They will need at least 1,100 signatures on that petition. All right, All right. more to come. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Larry. Thank you, Larry.